What's up guys, I'm Lucas Foster. We're here at Copper Mountain, getting ready for the US Grand Prix, which is our second Olympic qualifying event. Yeah, the first Olympic qualifier went pretty good for me. I ended up in sixth, third American, so I'm on to a good start and I'm feeling really good going into this event. It's been a long fall of getting ready for this season and I'm definitely feeling more ready than ever, so I'm stoked to compete. Yeah, the first event was the Aspen Grand Prix. It's a pretty stacked event, like most of these contests are, and landed one of the best runs I've done on my third and final run, so I was really stoked on that, and I'm hoping to do the same here. Yeah, the summer was amazing. I got to ride for a few weeks at Mount Hood, which was super fun. Spring half pipe, so you can really explore new tricks and try stuff that you maybe wouldn't in an icy half pipe. Spent a lot of time in the gym, getting my body ready. That's a usual thing. Working with the sports psychologist, mastering the mental game is super big when it comes to competing. And then we were just in Europe, in Sosve, in Kitzsteinhorn, in Austria, just boarding some half pipe and getting ready for the season. Luckily got better at some of the combos that I already have and put down a backside 1620, which was a trick that I've been wanting to learn for a while. It's pretty scary and it was a long process to learn, but I put it down there and I'm hoping that I can do it even better in contest and hoping that that can give me a spot on the Olympic team. Yeah, I'm feeling better than ever going into this contest. My body feels good, my mind feels good, and I'm in a good atmosphere to really thrive, I feel. It's a really stacked field. You got all the heavy hitters, Sean White, Ayumu, Yuto, so you're gonna have to go pretty big and definitely have at least one 12 to make the finals, maybe back-to-back -back 12s, you never know. And then to get on the podium, yeah, it's gonna take amplitude, some big tricks, but definitely some style and just fluidity. That's really important when it comes to half pipe riding. So it's gonna be interesting to see how things shake up. Man, it's been a pretty wild journey. I mean, I started out just kind of free riding and riding everything, and that gave me a good foundation to, you know, come into the half pipe and start figuring that out and uh, the last couple years I've definitely focused a lot on half pipe and been riding a lot more half pipe so I think that's kind of what's helped my success in the last few years is just being persistent with riding a lot of transition and really having fun too you know you got to enjoy this in order to stay in the game so yeah I think my style is a little different than others I tend to ride a little more aggressive and you know kind of get low and I feel like that's kind of done me well and people have kind of recognized that that's what sets me apart. Also just kind of my attitude going into contests, I want to put it all out on the line. I want to go as big as possible and you know I want to make my riding look fun because at the end of the day it's all about you know contributing to snowboarding and making it a doper sport than it was when you first got into it. Yeah so after the Copper Grand Prix we got Dew Tour which is next week so pretty much right into another big contest and then after that, we got the Mammoth Grand Prix, the Locks Open, and then as long as all these events go well, then we got the Olympics in Beijing, and then everything kind of comes to an end in February, and we get to just go free ride and you know take a big breather from contests and half pipes. So it's going to be a busy but really fun year. I know that I feel really confident in the steps I've taken to getting ready for these contests, and uh, I feel like you know the last few years. There's been a steady buildup, and if there's any time for me to put it all out on the line and do my best to make this team, it's gonna be right now. So I'm feeling really good, and you know, I'm just trying to stay present and stay chill and enjoy this process, because it's uh, definitely something that you'll never forget. Big shout out to the US snowboard team. They really took a big chance on me, putting me on the team years ago. Shout out to my parents. All my friends back at home in Telluride and everyone that's just helped me along the way. Big thank you to Monster Army. They've been huge in these last couple seasons leading up to now. Amazing support and an amazing crew that has really changed the game for me. The program is so amazing and it's really helped a rider like me get to where I'm at. I've been on Monster Army for a long time. I remember starting out when I was pretty young, just on the site applying and doing that each season and it was cool to get some money for podiums and you know USASAs and Rev Tours and stuff and then as I stuck with the program I worked my way up the ranks and you know got on to a more official deal and you know each season the support's just gotten better and better 
And yeah, I mean, I could definitely say with confidence I would not be here without the Monster Army program. The support they give to athletes is unreal and the accessibility to joining the program is unlike any other program that I've seen, you know. Snowboarding, skiing, it's all very exclusive and you gotta know a bunch of people, which makes sense, but the nice thing about Monster Army is you could beat anybody. You could be like me when I was 14 in Telluride, Colorado, riding on the weekends and apply and get to where I'm at now, you know, being a longtime rider for the program and, you know, pretty much making a living off of snowboarding. It's crazy. Hey, what's up guys? Lucas Foster here. Just got home from Locks Open in Switzerland, which was the last Olympic qualifier. There was a lot at stake at this event, and I had to really make sure that I did good over there. I've been having a good season, but anything can happen during the Olympic year. But luckily I did what I had to do, and it looks like I'm going to Beijing next week to compete in the Olympics for the US. So I'm beyond stoked, and just want to say thanks to everyone who's helped me, and can't wait to go put on a show over there. Let's do it. Peace.